segment is number 19. I'm going to talk about the graphite and diamond. This is number 19 on the series of my talks on planet Earth. Carbon is capable of forming many allotropes due to its valency. Well-known forms of carbon include diamond and graphite. Diamond is well-known allotrope of carbon. The hardness and high dispersion of light of diamond make it useful for both industrial applications and jewelry. Diamond is the hardest known natural mineral. This makes it an excellent abrasive and makes it hold polish and luster extremely well. No known naturally occurring substance can cut or even scratch a diamond except another diamond. Diamond and graphite are both giant covalent substances made entirely of carbon atoms. Both have chemical formula, but they do not have a molecular formula. Diamond and graphite are allotropes of carbon. Allotropes are different forms of the same element due to differences in structure. Let us see some of the differences between graphite and diamond. This is molecular structure. Let us see the difference in it. Diamond, giant covalent structure with each carbon covalently bonded to four other carbon atoms in a tetrahedral arrangement to form a rigid structure. On the other hand, graphite, giant covalent structure with each carbon covalently bonded to three other carbon atoms in a hexagonal arrangement. Let us see the difference in hardness between graphite and diamond. First, diamond, extremely hard due to rigid tetrahedral arrangement of carbon atoms. Graphite, on the other hand, soft. Layers of hexagonally arranged carbon atoms can slide over one another. As the layers are held together by Van der Waals forces of attraction. So I have got a small video animation on graphite and diamond. I let you see. Did you know that graphite and diamonds are both formed from carbon compounds? In graphite, carbon atoms are arranged in hexagons, while in diamonds, they form tetrahedral crystals.